What is going zone? This is your boy Byron B. Rudd Rudley here with another vlog. First, I want to thank you for coming uh, to this video. I want you to go to my YouTube channel and I want you to subscribe. I also want you to hit the bell so you can get all the latest notifications of vlog videos that are going to release in the future. So what I got today is Blackmagic Decklink Mini Recorder. This is the PCI E1 version. This is a HDMI and SDI capture card that I'm gonna put into my computer. I'm gonna install this. Now what this is, with this capture card, I'll be able to capture HD video directly from my camera into the computer and live stream it. Now this also eliminates the need for a switcher and I'm gonna show you why. So I'm getting ready to unbox this. Stay tuned, all right? Let's get into it. L -l 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 Log on. Right here. Yeah. So, I bought this capture card on Amazon for about $145. Real affordable. The reason why I got this capture card is because I uh, I film a lot of events, a lot of corporate events for Microsoft. I shoot a lot of events uh, for churches and conferences, and seminars, live concerts, and because of COVID-19. Uh, there are a lot of live concerts that are taking place. So when I first open this box, I can see um, this is the piece that goes on the back of the computer. Let's see what else comes in this box. Of course, this is my capture card. I wonder is there anything for software in here? Or, uh, nope, that's everything in the box. So I would assume that I have to go to Blackmagic's website in order to download my drivers for this capture card. This right here is my HDMI import. This is my SDI import. What I'm interested in finding out is I wanna know if this is, I can use both imports at the same time. That's what I'm gonna be testing out is seeing if I can have two camera sources or like one camera and another computer for graphics, lower thirds, scriptures and all that good stuff. So uh, getting ready to install this on the back of my computer and uh, download the drivers and see what we can find out. Wait a minute, hold up. So I believe this big bracket is made for bigger PCs like this and then this mini bracket is for smaller PCs so there's a couple screws on here where I can take this bracket off of this capture device and I can put them on here and I can put this into smaller PCs I guess I don't know anybody that knows comment down below and let me know is that what it's for all right so this is my black magic recorder this is the PCI one and the one stands for um, how many lanes are grouped together that goes on the motherboard. That's what determines the speed. So this is, I believe, the main, and then this is one lane, all right? So if you look closely on the computer here, these two smaller slots, they only have one lane. Now, bigger cards, which are um, graphics cards take 16 lanes. So this is a huge graphics card um, from GeForce. This is the RTX 2060. So that is what came in the computer from Microsoft straight out the box. All right, so I'm getting ready to install my Blackmagic capture card into the computer. So this is my HDMI port. I will take a HDMI cord and I will plug it directly in. And then this is a SDI input this is what SDI cord looks like all right so so I push it straight in 
then I twist it and you'll hear locking just like that. And now I have both my HDMI camera and my SDI camera ready to go. Now I have to download my software from blackmagic.com and make sure that the drivers are installed and compatible for my capture programs for my capture card. Yo, after about an hour, I finally figured out the software I needed to install to get my Blackmagic mini recorder installed on the computer. I finally got it to where my um, capture programs on my computer will read the capture card and now I can get video from my Canon C100 directly to my computer and I can capture an HD right now. So let me show you a little bit about what I'm able to do now I have the capture card installed on the computer and now I can capture from my camera. All right, so what you're looking at there is my Canon C100 that's in my previous vlog. And then you're looking at my MXL microphone for podcasting and a lot of music recording. I've recorded two albums on this mic. And then over here you can see vMix. That's the program that I use a lot for live streaming, church services, conventions, seminars, live concerts. So I'm getting ready to record myself through vMix. It's uh, getting ready to record live through the computer now. All right, so I should be recording directly from my camera into the computer through vMix. And then once I hit stop, I'll be able to play this back. I'll be able to play the MP4 version of this video clip. So I'm getting ready to hit stop. Getting ready to hit stop. Oh, you turn the audio back on. Directly from my camera into the computer through vMix. And then once I hit stop, I'll be able to play this back. Look at that, man. Crispy audio, crispy video. Four version of this video clip. So I'm getting ready to hit stop. Getting ready to hit stop. And just like that, I'm ready to record HD video directly into the computer. No need to even hit record on the camera. How sweet is that? So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. Stay uh, connected with your boy, Byron B. Rutley. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on my YouTube channel to stay tuned for all the future vlogs. All right? Hey. Log on. Right here. Yeah.